Why are you running? You too! Okay. Let's get right into it. So, what are you running from? I'm going to tell you my part. I'm not even going to give y'all really just a uh, educational piece just for you. Let me tell you my story. What do I run from the most? Well, to be honest with you, I run from a lot of things. Um, and the reason I sometimes fall back and have missteps and go back to old habits, even when it comes to eating and stuff like that, I'm running from the fear. I'm running, I, sometimes I run from fear, honestly. Sometimes I just don't want to deal with the reality of my life. Sometimes I want to just run from everything. I just want to not... Success, man, and here's what I think some people understand. I believe y'all understand this, and maybe you understand what I'm saying here. Success is so hard to always go for, man, because when you get success, I get the fear of losing it. Like, I'm afraid I'll be successful. Let's say I get all the success in the world, and I still feel the same. Like, I fear getting success and still being like, oh, man, life sucks. Oh, I just can't wait to die. Oh, I just can't. I just can't live. Oh, I'm scared. What if this happens? What if that happens? I'm scared to get all this stuff and have a good life for my family, even be living and honoring my life, be honoring, and doesn't matter. I'm still sad. I'm still out. I still feel this same way. That's one of my biggest fears. This light is bright, but we'll save that. We'll, we'll, we'll leave it alone. I'm going to let y'all. I don't feel like getting up and doing that random little video. So, yeah, man, that's what I'm running from, man. I run from the fear of always feeling the same you know I've always feeling that guy I can never be happy sometimes it's very hard for me to be satisfied with life like there's times I laugh and there's times I giggle don't get me wrong but there's just times like when I'm by myself guys it's just really tough like when I went around friends and I'm hanging out and I'm outside and I'm breathing in that fresh air I feel much better but when I'm inside like I am right now I'm uh, not necessarily making videos but just sitting here man it just drains me like I love going on like drives and stuff like that man I love driving because I love looking at the mountains. I love looking at all that kind of stuff. And it's kind of hard. Um, it wears my car down. <laughs> if I had a really nice car, man, I would love it. I mean, I would love it, you know. So one day, hopefully, I can get blessed with that, meaning me personally. I could pay for a new car that I can drive all the time because my, my car, you know, it's great, but it's old. And uh, it can't handle all the driving that I would love to do. I would love to drive four or five hours, but my car can't handle that. So... My hope is to be able to get a new vehicle and all that but you know it's just one of those things like when i'm outside and i'm talking to people and i'm talking i'm at work i feel more alive you know but when i'm just sitting here every day bored um just just trying to make it happen even when i'm doing homework it gets to me man and i want to run i just want to run as far away as possible from this life of just sitting here because i don't feel like there's anything in my house that can make me happy anymore you know i have all these beautiful equipment and i have all these pieces and i you know what i enjoy the most is when i'm at home is when i'm making these videos with you, for you guys you know when i'm doing these things when i'm talking in the chat when people are conversating with me i need that right now man i'm not gonna lie i can tell you guys that oh being alone is so cool no it sucks i need people right now in my life to be around you know so even being around my wife and sometimes you know being around friends it's a great thing you know i used to be this last year and a half, I was a real loner. I wanted to be by myself. I didn't want to talk to nobody. I didn't need no friends because I was high so much. But now that I'm not no longer high, like I want to associate with people. Associate. I want to talk to people. I want to be friends with people. I want to go to a friend's house and kick back a few water bottles. You feel me? And so I'm kind of running from accepting life for what it is. I have a hard time believing that. Oh man, let me just. I'm gonna, I'm trying not to lie. I'm going to try to be pretty open. I have a hard time being loved. It's, uh, listen, I'm, I'm telling the truth. I have a hard time accepting that I'm a loved person. I'm not even going to lie. And I know that sounds cliche, but it's true. Like, so it's hard for me to accept um, life going on. Like It's hard for me to think, man, I could live two, three, four more years. <laughs> it's hard for me to accept living 40 more years because it's hard for me to do that because I'm thinking to myself, like, am I even worth 40 more years? Like, what do I do for people? sometimes I really get down on myself I feel like I, I contribute nothing to the world so if I was to go it would mean nothing right not that I'm like having those kind of thoughts but it's, it, I think everybody goes to it where they feel useless at some point in life you know I'm a streamer um, 
I make videos, I go to work, but this, you know, it's hard because social media, and I'm not blaming social media, I blame myself for indulging in it so much, but social media will have you feeling kind of lonely because you see people doing all these live stream with friends. You get on there, you see people getting $38,000 worth of subs and you, you see people hanging out in stream, you see people laughing, you see people in YouTube videos, you see people on Instagram. I know that's not always real life, I get that, but it's hard to separate it because we have grown up, you know, my generation and your generation, if you're, you know, around my age, we grew up with the internet. So social, um, we, we have now kind of can't really break away from the internet. It's hard to break reality. It's hard not to think, oh man, this is real, real life. This is real stuff. Um, I'm starting to slowly break away from it, but I can't lie, guys. Something that's really hard for me to do is just sit still and look at nothing. You know, my wife can read a book. I can't sit down and read a book. I, I, I could do it before, but I have not been able to do it for a while. I used to be able to sit down and get into a book. Now I sit down and I scroll through stupid stuff. I scroll through YouTube, I scroll through Twitter, I scroll through Instagram, looking at nothing. Well, on Instagram, I'm looking for opportunities. On Twitter and <laughs> on Twitter and YouTube, I'm not looking for nothing. All I'm looking to see is somebody's life who's better than mine or somebody whose life seems better than mine, but it may be way worse mentally. And I just fool myself and thinking I'm the worst person on the earth. I'm the one person. Man, I'm, I'm about to get real. Hold on. I feel sometimes that I'm the one person on earth who's never going to get it. Like the struggles that I have, you know how people struggle with drug addiction, people struggle with alcohol addiction, they struggle with porn addiction, sex addiction, they 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 struggle with all types of addiction. I always feel like I'm the one person who's never going to get it. And it's not true. It's like, I'm going to tell you this, and hopefully a year from now we can watch this video back, but look at me, you know, I'm the, I feel like I'm the one person who can't lose weight, even though I know I know other fat people, but I feel like, you oh, I'm the one person who couldn't do it if I tried. Even though I've lost 100 pounds, I don't think I can do it again. Like, I don't think I can lose 100 pounds because I know I, I had to lose 250 pounds. No, was it? 100, I had to, yeah, no, I needed to lose 200 pounds. I lost 100. I got to lose 100 more. That's hard because I don't believe I can do it. At one point, I believed it with all my heart and I was able to do it. But to do it again is tough because I think I'm the one person who's going to be fat the rest of my life and I'm going to die because I'm fat. You know, it's, the, it's that kind of stuff that gets to your head, right? But the only things I can do is not run from it. If I don't embrace it, be like, okay, you're fat. It is what it is. Lose the weight. You got to start making small steps like you did before. You know, you got to watch your calorie intake. You got to, you know, go for a quick walk. You know, help your heart health. Those are the kind of stuff that makes big differences. And I, I've been able to do these kind of things. The same thing, this whole build. Y'all see this mic. Y'all see my new PC. You see all these monitors. Man, I started off with an iPhone. <laughs> I was making YouTube videos on an iPhone. And before that, I was making videos on a Galaxy S4. A very old phone. I was making videos on that, but it took small steps to get here. And that I, now I love my setup. I don't have any need or any want to buy anything else to make this setup true to me. I love my setup. I love the table. I love my glass pieces. I love my mic. But at the same time, you know, I have to do the same thing with weight loss. And it's hard because, because I built up another habit when I was going through really bad anxiety after I lost 100 pounds. And then I started going through anxiety again. I started wanting to eat more every time I got off stream. Because when I was on stream, I would get so anxious. And when I get anxious, what does my body do? It reverts to childlike stuff. It makes me want to go eat. You know what I'm saying? That's what used to be my comfort. You know? And I'm, and I'm, I'm back to working my way out of that again. I'm always running from success because I'm afraid I'm going to fail. It's the same reason people put weight back on. It's like, why do I even try? Same reason people go back to the drugs because you get a great life and you're like, this sucks, man. I haven't done, I haven't drank alcohol in three years and look at me. I still ain't successful. I'm not making millions of dollars. I'm not making a six figures. I'm not one of these people on YouTube who just tells me I can make money if I just believe. I'm going back to drinking. I'd rather be miserable than be, I'd rather be drunk and know I'm miserable than not be drunk and pretend I'm not miserable. I'd rather have a reason to be miserable. So that's like it is being fat. Like it gives me an excuse to be down on myself. Like, you know what I mean? Does that make sense? 
Like being fat gives me a reason to be sad because if I wasn't fat, you know, it, there would be no reason for me to do a lot of things. You know, being fat will be like, well, that's why I can't go outside and walk. I'm too fat. Oh, that's why I can't go outside. That's why I can't go work out. I mean, it'll hurt my knees. I'm too fat. Uh, that's kind of why I overeat because, I mean, I'm too fat. <laughs> you just make up stuff. You find a reason to be miserable to justify yourself. And so, I don't know. I hope y'all understand what I'm saying. But let me know in the comment section if y'all want to comment. If you don't, go. <laughs> Let me know, what do y'all think, man? What are you running from? You too. Peace.